Hi folks, this is Johnny Cantor, and welcome back to more of Let's Play Dr. Chaos. Uh, oh, I'm not moving. Why am I not moving? Okay, never mind. Goodbye, folks. Okay, hi folks, and welcome back once again to Let's Play Dr. Chaos. Uh, I don't know what happened last time. Everything was plugged in, I should have been able to move. But I couldn't. Why does this keep happening? This has happened a lot recently when I've been trying to do that. Uh, it reminds me of what Deceased Crab said one time. Which is that the hardest part of the play in the game is trying to overcome your own stupidity. So we're off to uh, Warp Zone 6, which I think is in this room. Here we go! Is this it? Maybe. Uh, I don't remember. I played through this last night, actually, but um, I don't remember it now, so <laughs> hopefully we're in the right spot. I think we are. In any case, we have all the equipment that we really need now to get through any of the other warp zones, so it won't matter too much. And yes, another another underwater level. This one, not quite as bad as the other one, because at least uh, there are above water sections where you can walk, and the fish aren't quite as abundant. So you won't get juggled to death quite as often. Hmm. I think... I actually don't remember which one I'm supposed to go. Yeah, I'm supposed to go the other way. Yeah, that's what happens when you don't remember what you just played. I gotta really work on that. But yeah, I've, I've reached that point now where I'm doing LPs, and it's sort of a, what I'm going to call the LPers dilemma, which is that the reality of what you're doing suddenly dawns on you, and you realize that you're sitting in a room talking to yourself, and you feel a little weird about it. I think I can go either way here. In any case, I got to kill that thing. No, nope, got to go down. And it's uh, <laughs> it's a very surreal feeling when you think about it. And perhaps I wouldn't feel quite as bad about that, except, again, I have, like, four people that watch these things. So, in essence, I am talking to myself. Alright. And this underwater boss, not nearly as bad as the other one. And I, um... I would switch to the machine gun, Except that the way that the game just rapidly scrolls through your items, I'm not sure I could actually get to it. There we go. Another laser piece. And one more life bottle. Let's see. Ah, let you watch me trek back to the beginning. Why not? Why not, folks? I'm sure I can think of something to fill the time. And I, I... I still don't know what's causing that slow-up with Cam Studio. Didn't used to happen, I, uh... I think it might actually just be some weird quirk with my own computer. Because recently my laptop has been telling me that I'm not using a Dell-approved AC adapter to power it, and so it won't run as quickly. Um... And the only reason why I find that confusing is because I'm using the AC adapter that came with the Dell laptop. Which, I assume, it was also made by Dell. Since they gave it to me. We'll see. I, I don't know. I mean, the laptop's about 
a year and a half old, so that's, that's pretty old in laptop years. Maybe it's just time for a new one. That or I just need to consider investing in Hypercam, which I may need to do anyway because there's a couple of Super NES games uh, that I've been wanting to do LPs on. Of course, there's other ways to do that, and I don't exactly take a really high-tech approach to LP anyway. You know what? I'm going to use a grenade. That is the best way to take care of this. There we go. Let's just use grenades for the rest of the stage. Man, that... That is satisfying. But, uh, yeah, like I was saying, I, um, I take a pretty low-tech approach to uh, doing LPs. I'm using Cam Studio and a uh, Logitech microphone. And I can't get Cam Studio to record um, sound whenever I do an LP. So everything you hear is just being recorded through the microphone. And uh, actually it works out fairly well. Uh, aside from the fact that I'm pretty much forced to do commentary at the same time that I play the game, because otherwise you won't hear the wonderful soundtrack to all of these old NES classics, which is maybe not always a good thing, but with the exception of the uh, Vice Project Doom episodes, I, I like to try and expose people to um, all of the elements of the game itself, try and give you an experience very much similar to what you would get if you were actually playing the game. Anyway, here we are back at the beginning, so I think uh, it's time to call an end to this episode. So, I'm Johnny Cancer, folks, and thanks for watching. And join me next time for more of Let's Play Dr. Chaos.